lonesome cranberry lake Float on our backs Drum figure eights And drift for miles on cranberry lake I've been dreaming out loud But there's no turning, turning back now, no You know, I had been with them for about four years mm -hmm. And I felt like I had given it a, a good a good run, a good chance. You know, I really worked my tail off, you know, before I was with them and also when I was with them. And, uh, I had worked with a lot of different people there, and there were a few that I really liked that I wanted to, to keep working with or at least stay in touch with. Uh, but by and large, when you, when you are a part of a, a bureaucracy like that, it, it can get pretty... Uh, out of control so you know there, there were just certain things that were happening that took too long or didn't happen or you know things that were promised that didn't pan out and I just got a little tired of it and wanted to see what I could do by myself again I mean it, it just didn't seem like the right thing for me to stay but last year of course because I wrote so many songs right. and I got a lot of practice at it and I got in a routine uh, I, I found my, my sound more than I had in the past, I think. I, I, some, a sound that I was really comfortable making, uh, you know. And for me, it, it was just, it seemed like that was the, the end result of a, a lot of writing and, and a lot of uh, uh, thinking about how I wanted to create things my way and without, you know, somebody telling me in, in my ear, right. you know, we want you to sound like this, or, uh, or, or just the, the natural growth of a human being, like, you know, trying to figure out who he is. And my fans are great. My fans have, have I, I think, adjusted well to whatever <laughs> I do, and I think that they can see a sincerity in what I'm doing, no matter what. You know, even when I wasn't too sure what I was doing, I was, you know, honest, so... Right. I think that's the number one thing that people are looking for out of my music. I do think though that I'm a slightly different uh, kind of person with, with what's going on with the, how to communicate with your fans, with the Facebook, the Twitter, mm -hmm. the everything. Uh, you know, I shy away from a lot of that stuff because I really do like to have my privacy and my mm -hmm. private life. Even when I'm writing songs, I, you know, I, I like that to be more of a private process than I think some of the art, uh, other artists that I know. Do. And I, I, it's not that I don't want to invite people into my life uh, to, to hear what I do. And I, I do talk to people for sure, like after shows, and I, I want to meet them genuinely. But the, uh, <laughs> the you know, telling people what I have for breakfast, you know, <laughs> in the morning, it's just not something that I feel the need to be doing. And I think it's uh, a strange time in the world in general for, for communicating. I think. Uh, it's it's overload, and I have have tried the, the you know to to dive into that, and I just like it's like I dove into a pool that turned to, to steel or something, and, <laughs> and just like splattered. And so I, I need to sort of dip my feet instead of uh, you know what I mean instead yeah. of jump in. Uh, all I can say is I am working on something new, okay. uh, and it's really in, in its beginning stages still, and I'm taking it a lot slower than. Everything last year. Mm -hmm. I really, uh, it's a bit of an experiment. I'm working with a producer that I uh, wouldn't be the sort of logical choice to okay. work with, so I'm, I'm seeing how that's going to head out. And I really don't know, and I, I want to be, you know, uh, uh, I want to just make sure I like what I'm doing, and that sometimes takes time. I am away, I haven't been here for long. I am away, I haven't been here for long, and I don't feel the need to call you up, I'm good, I decided to walk in the direction of north, where I saw two kites, they're dancing back and forth, never knowing where next they will blow up to all I want, they fly.